All right, so here's the deal. Um, what's her name? Duke, Daisy and Duke are our new horses that I filmed the other day coming in. So they've been sitting here a couple days. So Luke and I are going to harness them up today. First things first, got the harness, figure out the collars, figure out the harness, get the harness adjusted, and then we'll hook them up and see if they drive like they did on the internet. So, you know, who knows? And today's Luke's birthday. Happy birthday, Luke. Thank you. <laughs> 29. <laughs> All right, well, let's go get the horses. What? What? Oh my gosh, I had to call the Corridor Association about freaking macho. And people are freaking ignorant. So I doctored this mare's eyes yesterday. Mainly that left eye. Duke. Come here, buddy. Good lord. Let me help you. Yeah, I need some help. I need a bigger halter, maybe. She got some bigger halters. A big head. That's a big old head. She's not as easy to catch. She, she'll let you catch her, but she just you gotta walk not around. Right. I sure think Duke's gonna be real good. I think that mare might be a little antsy, but we'll see. Duke's just a big old, he seems like a big puppy dog to me, but who knows, he might be a man killer. I mean, you know, on the internet, when I watch them, they, were, they had them at a funeral, so I wouldn't take them to a funeral unless they were pretty solid. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll go Duke on the right. The biggest horse always goes on the right, so Duke's bigger. So let's put him on the right. What size collar? He got a. She's pretty. She's bigger than you think. Yeah. I've got these adjustable collars that are already set for the harness. I say let's try one of them first. Okay. <laughs> Whenever they break, this is our break, and yeah. so uh, you don't want it to get an angle. On yeah, it. if it gets an angle on it, it'll pop. It'll pop that off the collar. Right. So that's that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want it to be like a. Yeah, you want it to be like part of the flush, thing. basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, so I, I think we're golden there. Cool. Everything look good to you? Yeah. I believe so. That's for the. Uh, that's a headset. I used to not run those things. And then uh, one time I was driving a team of mares and they put their head and it allow, it keeps them from putting their head down and allowed mm. them put it, put her head down. And I used, and I, I, these snaps will snap into another bit or they'll snap into the neck yoke. And they stuck down and they, they were rubbing on the neck yoke and they snapped a, a line into the uh, neck yoke. That was a serious wreck mm -hmm. when they hauled ass. Dang. Because I was pulling on the neck yoke. I had one line. And a lot and I do have I do have lines that buckle instead of snap. Uh, but I'll get them out later. All right, now we're ready for a bit. And then we'll do the lines. I think you're good, I'm good. Lines are over here. There we go, lines over here. So just in case we get into a jam, it's really half of a half hitch is what I do. Does that make sense? And then I throw it and then I just throw it where it won't get like that. Let's see how you're doing. So that way, with, and that's why I got short leads on here, but then if something happens, you can jump off your right. wagon and run, grab your horse. Oh my gosh, this is too much fun. You want to drive them around the arena for a minute? Yeah. All right, you got them. Do you know what kind of voice commands? I don't know commands? if they got voice commands or, or not. Okay. So you, I, I would try the G and haul them a little bit while you're messing around in there. And then now, which, remind me what direction. So haul's left, okay. G's right. G, G.
Well, they're pretty. Yeah, they are. I've never. <laughs> Dang, they're quiet. I just hope they're not oh, dragging yeah, legs. They feel pretty light too, really. They feel pretty good? Yeah. Uh, it must be the quarter horse in them. <laughs> Every Belgium I've ever had is just like, just right. I mean, they're just up in the bridle the whole time. Um, step up. Well, they don't look like they're gonna run off or don't look like they don't do anything silly. No. I was like, let's hook him to a wagon and see Ooh. what happens. What Sounds do you say? Good to me. You good with that? Yep. All right, let's roll. Yeah, make a big loop out there and come back to that tongue. All right, I'm dropping, I'm dropping three right now. I don't okay. know if that's going to be right or not. Mm. But that's halfway right and halfway wrong. Mm. So what we're doing is we're hooking up the tugs. And so I'll, well, I say I'm dropping three, that means uh, three links. I don't know if that's right or not. Um, okay, so I got them hooked up now. They look pretty tight. So the, the thing is, if it's too loose, they'll walk off the end of the tongue. And then again, at the same time, you don't want it too tight. Ooh. All right, so now we're dropping two. One thing, you never want to get in between this double tree and the wagon right here, because if one steps up, they'll pin you in there. And another thing you never want to do is face your little boys toward, towards the horse, because when they kick you, you won't be getting kicked in the ass and not in the peels. She dang sure. <laughs> she thinks sure my out pull old dude. Uh huh. Yeah, she kind. She, she kind of. She kind of leaning into it. Duke, step up. Step up, Duke. There you go. We're trotting. Yeah. We get wet out here. Duke, step up. Oh. Oh. Paul, 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 step up, dude. Dude, step up. There you go, good boy. Walk easy, walk easy. Walk easy, walk easy. Step up. Whoa, whoa. All right, hey, let's look at my wagon. I want to show you how I got my wagon rigged up. It's pretty simple, but it's, it works great. So mainly what I want to show you is how the cake feeder works. So I'm on a, so what I've got is I've got a battery in here. And then this battery 
I've got a trickle charger, so I'll pull it up here and I'll plug it in. And that'll keep my battery charged from the day of feeding. Then over here, I've got my controls. This is my siren over here. And then this runs my cake feeder. So this is just kind of tempor temporarily mounted on there. I keep, I got the siren mounted on the cake feeder over here. And then the cake feeder, this cake feeder just measured out. I'm putting out like four pounds of dump. So that's how I do it. I just count the dumps. It's got a counter on there. We put one dump out per, per cow. And it looks like my spring's about to pop out. The spring was sounding a little weak to me. All right, well, let's wrap it up right there. So that's, so I introduced Daisy and Duke to you. And here's a purchase I bought off the internet. It turned out really good. I'm happy with them. Um, you know, if I have to, I can always breed Daisy and then put Duke with, with Moses. But right now, I'm going to leave them together. I think they're a really pretty team together. And I think they work together good. And So we're just going to keep working them and feeding cows with them this winter. And I bet they're just going to get nothing but better. So like we said, Daisy's 10, Duke's 11. I mean, uh, 7. I don't know. Daisy looks more like 11 to me. She's got 11-year-old hooks. So, all right. Hey, don't forget, subscribing is free. And... Um, We'll catch y'all on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching it all the way to the end. See you. Bye.